Hey guys, welcome back to another review video. I got a Melt Cosmetics order. So we're going to review this today. I also got a few other things that I'll show you. But pretty much very cute packaging. Comes like this. And I got two things. I got the um, Muerte palette super cute packaging and then I got um, the dark matter stack um, eyeshadows I'll show you the stacks they look like this they're pretty cool because they're magnetic so this is your palette and then it has a mirror on the one where it just says melt but that's your palette right there um, this, the sizing is pretty good, um, let me compare it to the, um, Pat McGrath palette, which is probably the biggest palette of eyeshadows that I own. I'll show you the comparison. It's way bigger. Uh, but the Pimograph one is, is a little bit bigger pan size, so I'll show you like a basic one, um, like this KKW palette that I absolutely hate. These are usually the regular pan sizes, and this is the melt one. So you see you get a lot of product. I don't know if this matters, but the stackables, which are four colors, it's $30. But you saw you get like a lot more product. So I got this basically to do weddings because people always want like a neutral color, a neutral eye. And I thought this was like a neutral, oh, there it goes, man down. I thought this was like a neutral smoky look that, that um, you know, I would use. So um, they're pretty basic colors. I'm not going to review this. I will be reviewing this Bad Boy Johnson which is so cute it's heavy for it to be like a thin palette but the packaging is so nice it's um lifted i guess that's the right word and then you open it and so beautiful so we're gonna have a go at this today also too <laughs> it came with a cute little sticker adorable um, also I did get the Jeffree Star concealer so my Maybelline one ran out I got it in C13 it's beautiful packaging it looks like this so we're going to try this out today as well as the KKW uh, lip liner I got it in nude 3 I don't like her makeup line but her lip products do get good reviews, so I'm going to try it out. But as far as her eyeshadow palettes, hor horrid, horrid to say the least. Morphe palettes are better than the KKW palette. That's pretty sad. But anyways, um, I'm going to fast forward like I usually do, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video.
I went a little dramatic with the look today because it's a dramatic palette. Um, I'm probably, sh I'm pretty sure a million people have done this look with this palette. Um, there's not many colors to choose from and these are the ones that, you know, I thought would go together. Um, and I love green. Y'all know I love green. I wanted to try, the only colors I really didn't get to try were this, these two blue colors. But the colors I did use were Angelito, Lágrimas, Duelo, Panteón, Veljojo, Sangre, Corazón, y Calaca. Calaca. I'm Spanish, but um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I like the palette. The green, that green color is the winner of the show. Um, super pigmented it didn't go everywhere um you know it, it blended nicely it, it's the shit that green color you clearly see it on my eyeballs um it's there and it's ready for business the red colors the red purpley colors i mean if you know anything about makeup you know that these colors are the hardest to make so i'm not going to critique it too much but um applying them it was a little patchy um, but I was still able to make it work, so I ain't mad at it. Um, the shimmers, I really didn't dabble too much. I did put a little bit in the inner corner. You know, it's a typical shimmer. Um, this palette is $58. Is it worth $58? I think Jeffree Star palettes are like $54. Lunar Beauty is probably in that range too so I guess um, it's an opinion I love the colors I love the packaging it feels expensive feels heavy um, but yeah you pay for obviously a good quality shadow um, I didn't get to use the KKW liner um, maybe my next video, because it's a brown color. But, like, look at this. Like, this doesn't even, cl like, stay close. Kim, ain't you, like, a million billionaire? Like, get this shit together. I don't, I don't understand. I feel like returning this, honestly. So annoying. But the, um, Jeffree Star concealers. Good. You know, it didn't take a lot for me to blend. You don't need a lot of product, which was great. Um, you know, it's a good concealer. I think the color's a little too light for me. For right now, I did just come back from vacation, so... You know, a little tanner. Um, then, you know, when I purchased this, which was over a month ago, it took forever to get this. Um, because of holiday uh, sales and all that. Um... So I was probably a little bit lighter when I got this. But, any whore. I did also get the gloss from Jeffree Star. And Diet Freeze. And I did get this Tarte palette for Christmas that maybe I'll review as well in the next video. But, um... For right now, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and be on the be on the lookout for my next one.